destination is on the right. That's fine, because ours is broken. I don't even know if you can hear us. Yeah, you probably can't. These down here are just regular old panes of glass from 1965. And all the lighting we're looking at is going to be 100% natural sunlight, as there is no artificial lighting here on the Silver River. show you what we usually bring for one of our day trips we cut up some cheese uh, we usually bring some fruit sometimes for me sometimes Jeremy snacks on a little bit we bring some pepperoni turkey usually because it's lower fat uh, we also have these which are kind of like crackers but they're made out of cheese so 
I think they're healthy. I don't know. And then we bring some salami. We took the glass bottom boat tour, which was very neat. It was very cool. And they mentioned uh, about the monkeys that were brought in here and still live in the area. So. Yep, so originally they were brought in for, there's been a lot of movies that have been filmed here over the years. Um, I believe back in 1930 is when they were introduced to the area. Um, and he said that there's now about 500 or so that continue to remain in the area. Uh, and now they've spaced out. They've gone as far north as Jacksonville and as far south as Tampa. So um, we're going to go find them. He said the trail over this way was the way to go. So let's hope. I can't decide if I'm supposed to be looking like up, up in the I trees. Like they're going to be making noise so we'll know where they are. Right? Like I don't think they're always up in trees. I don't know. Right? I'm starting to question whether I've ever seen a monkey before ever. So interesting story. Um, so Silver Springs is now home to about 500 or so Reese's macaque monkeys. Um, they were introduced to this area about a oh, hundred years ago or so by Captain Tui, who used to run his own boat tours and stuff up and down um, Silver Spring down the river. And uh, he really he he purchased these monkeys um, and placed them on an island in this area so that it would hopefully boost the peak interest of tourists and get more people to come and, and kind of uh, basically like make their experience a little bit better, um, you know, so he could make more money. And then he, so what he didn't realize is that the Reese's macaque monkey likes to swim. So he thought that they would be contained on that island and they wouldn't go anywhere else other than there, but turns out they like to swim. So then now they've spread out and they've gone everywhere. I think earlier we said that it was actually from the movie that they filmed here, but it turns out that it is uh, not specifically from the movie, but it's more so because of the tour company. Purely revenue driven. Yeah. So experience. that seems pretty typical for Florida. What a weird place. <laughs> well, no monkeys. But I guess that means we'll have to Come back and try again later. <laughs> 